Hey, my name is Zach, and I wanted to show you how to save a Camtasia video that you just recorded. Now what you're going to have to do is transcode the file. First, I recommend saving as a CamRec file, right as it wants you to. And then open up the CamRec file in the media editor. So, as you can see, I have a CamRec file in my media editor, and what we can do is click and drag and drop this down at the timeline. Alternately, we could right-click it and hit Add to Timeline at Playhead. It's going to ask you about your editing dimensions. We're going to go to Recording Dimensions underneath this drop-down menu. Say OK. Now it's in the editing dimensions up here and ready to be edited. If you're using a program like Final Cut Pro or Adobe to edit your final video, then you're not even going to need to use the editing steps here, and you can just transcode the video right out of the program. So let's transcode this video. What we're going to do is go up to Produce and Share, and hit Produce and Share. We're going to get this dialog, and I already have a codex save called Untitled Preset, but we're going to add a new one, and I'll make it the exact same. So we're going to come in here, and we'll hit New. We're going to call this test convert. We're going to save it as a .mov. Make sure that you have QuickTime installed. It's going to need QuickTime in order to save it as a QuickTime file. So we'll hit Next. And we can go to QuickTime Options. H.264 is a Windows format, and that's fine. And we can just go to Size here. We can either go Current, or I suggest doing this one here. Use a program like MPEG Stream Clip before you pull it into Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, and then this will edit flawlessly. We'll say OK. OK again, and we can hit Next one more time. We'll call it Custom Size, and go Next again, and we could hit Finish. That's going to put out a final product in QuickTime. Go ahead and bring that into your other multimedia editor and you'll be good to go. My name is Zach and I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.